It's that time again. Race day has arrived here at the Circuit of the Americas, located in Austin, Texas. A track that isn't short of opportunities to overtake. We're certainly in for an exciting race out on track today. So the Circuit of the Americas is a 3.4 mile track made up of 20 turns. Turn one being the biggest standout, boasting a very steep uphill run going into a tight hairpin corner. The circuit features plenty of long tight corners and long straights with two DRS zones to incentivize overtaking throughout. As we await the start of another hugely anticipated Formula 2 race, I'm joined again by Davide Valsecchi. Davide, as a former GP2 champion, can we get some insight to what is running through these young drivers' heads as they sit out on the grid? Ciao, Alex. It's a pleasure to be here. There are nervy moments. There is no doubts about that. Mental strength is the key to remain calm and focusing on the upcoming race. Formula 2 is so competitive, and all of these drivers know that they are going to be pushing each other all of the way. In these sports, you have to be able to control your nerves. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's results with a look at the starting grid. Nikita Mazepin lines up on pole position, and it's Sergio Sete Camera in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Delatrat, Joe, Nobuharu Machushita, Anne Latif, De Vries, Schumacher, Correa, Luca Giotto, Rag Hunathan, King, Dorian Boccalacci, and Eilot, Aitkin, Galeo, Hubert, and Tatiana Calderon. Boschon and Giuliano Alesi starts from the back of the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track.
was a magnificent race and a drive right out of the top draw to take the win for ART today. And I have to wonder, Davide Valsecchi, just what set them apart from the competition here? The difference was in the strategy. Maybe to the driver, for sure. But races like these really drive home how much of a team sport this is. They did a lot of work on the pit wall to really make the most of each stint and to make the best use of the tires. But that said, all of that would have been for nothing without a talented hand on the wheel. ART, the French team who have been racing since the 90s in various forms of motorsport, are once again back on the winner's podium today after a brilliant display of driving skill. Now then, Davide Valsecchi, who would you say was your driver of the day? I have to give it to Sean Galeol. Consistency, good buttons, accessible driving, he can be pleased with that performance today. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care.